let's look at how we can add a table to our website. Now, first things first, you can see on the left hand side, I've got my coding and on the right hand side, I've got what it's going to be looking like. So the first thing I just want to sort out here is just my title and just file, save, refresh. Okay, so I've got all the items that I want in a table here and I can even see that this is going to be my table heading. So the first thing I have to do, and I'm just going to space this out, is I need to add the tag table. So I'm just going to move that down and then I'm going to close my table tag as well. Now, even though I've said that this is where my table is going to be when I go file, save, refresh, nah, nothing much happens. Okay. What I am also going to do is I'm just going to put in a BR tag to move my text down. And there we go. Okay, so I've got my table tag, but now I need to indicate um, what's going to be my table data, where's my table row. And for that, I'm going to use a TR tag and a TD tag. So I'm going to say that let's go with my table row, first of all. So that is my first row. And then I'm going to go TD for my table data. And I'm going to move my text there and I'm going to close that as well. Okay. So let me see. That's my first row. That's what I want in there. And I'm going to close that as well. And let's go file, save, refresh. Changes a little bit, but why is it not displaying as a table? <laughs> okay. This is because we need to add in the attribute border. And I'm just going to go border equals one. File, save, refresh. Ah, and there you can see we have some info in a border. Okay. Now I need to do the same for the others. Okay. So now I want to put the rest in, but you can see that this section here, the for sale and it's list underneath, that's going to be one column. And then we've got number of stands and then the items underneath it. So let's have a look as to how we are going to do this. So I'm going to put in another row. And in that row, I'm going to have two items that are going to go into table data. Because for sale is my first item. And number of stands is the next one, but it's still all in the same row. So I'm going to close off my row, file, save, refresh. Okay, now I'm going to use, I'm going to have to use the same structure going all the way through. So let me quickly do that. Approximately 10 hours later. Let's just see how it's going so far. There we go. That's looking great. Let's continue. Right, so we should be done now file save and refresh ah there we go that's looking a bit better okay so now i might want to just adjust certain things and um you know maybe neaten this up do a bit of spacing but that i'm going to do in a different video for now we've just been able to create our table and get everything sorted out